that we want to celebrate and reflect today on the life of Simon Nicoli and the legacy that he left behind for us. And we're looking forward to carrying the inspiration that he brought to us, to the days ahead of us, in the institution and beyond. Because the principles that he stood for are extremely important. And a lot of them resonate with what you are doing and what we as an institution are doing. We as a disability unit stand for the same principles that he stands for. He envisioned, envisioned a, a society sorry, um, which is non-discriminatory and which cares for and celebrates people um, that have been marginalized and really been left on the, on the margins and on the periphery. Um, and so we really want to look at how we embrace those principles and, and the concepts um, that he's actually stood for. I'm going to use a quote that he's very well no known for. I by no means can uh, understand, but I have true empathy with the struggle and the oppression that Mr. Nkoli faced and inspired us. He said, he is black, he is gay. He can't separate these two things into I am a political activist first and my gayness comes second. These are entwined parts of me. They are not a primary and secondary struggle. He said he was oppressed because of the color of his skin. He's a black man. He's a he was oppressed because he was a gay man. So when, he, when, he, when I fight for my freedom, I must fight against both oppressions. All those who believe in the democratic South Africa must fight against all oppression, all intolerance, and all injustice. It's very important for us, the equality unit at Stellenbosch University, as well as the disability unit, to be associated with Simon Corley, because of the virtues and values he stood for, which was uh, against unfair discrimination, uh, structural and systemic oppression of any kind of person living in a free South Africa.